What if you could significantly lower your chances for heart attack and coronary artery disease, add years or decades to your life, skyrocket your energy, melt off stubborn fat, look healthy and youthful, have rock solid strong bones, reduce pollution and save thousands of dollars, and be a hero by sparing thousands of lives, all by changing one ridiculously easy thing every day? The answer is simple. You'll actually be amazed how easy it is. To find out, please watch this quick video till the end where I will reveal the answer. An answer you've been waiting for and one that, quite frankly, just might shock you. My name is Benji. That's me over there on the right. I'm in overall great health. Every day when I wake up, I burst out of bed with boundless energy. I barely ever get sick. Come to think of it, I can't remember the last time I had anything more than a light cold. And my friends tell me that I look great. They're slim, trim, and totally fit. 10 years younger than I really am. But it wasn't always this way. Six years ago, I looked really different. I was fatter and older looking, and honestly, I never felt good. But then, one day, everything changed. So, what's my secret? What was that one thing that flipped a switch and made me do a complete 180? I'm going to tell you in just a minute. But first, let me ask you, how do you feel? Do you suffer from any of the following? Fatigue, sluggishness, tiredness after eating, low sex drive, irregular bowel movements, chest pains, indigestion, less than great immune system? Do you get sick frequently? Are you happy with the way that you look? Would you be happier if you lost a few pounds? What if you could fit into the clothes you wore when you were in your teens and 20s? Is it too late? No way. You can still make changes, no matter what age you are, that can potentially add years to your life and make you appreciate every single day. So. You are wondering about my secret. How do I stay in great shape? I'm full of energy and always prepared to take on anything that life throws at me. While millions of zombies in this country are addicted to caffeine, they swallow endless supplies of diet pills, and they feel horrible. I'll tell you my story, but I'll admit it's going to sound a little weird. So please stick with me until the end where I reveal some big news along with some super secret bonuses as long as you don't tell anybody. A few years ago, I started realizing I'm not as young as I used to be. I was eating like I always had, but my body wasn't keeping up. I was gaining weight. I was feeling exhausted all the time, and I couldn't get through a whole day's work at the office without feeling like I needed a three-hour nap. I was tired, so I drank more and more coffee to stay awake. That made me really cranky. My moods were horrible. I was angry, wired, and exhausted all the time. I hated it. I'm a fighter, and there was no way I was going to take this whole getting older crap laying down. So I started looking into my health. And I realized that with the way I was eating, burgers for lunch, pepperoni pizza for dinner, other fried foods, and more, I wasn't only going to keep feeling bad, I was going to start feeling worse. And with all the crap I was putting in my body every day, I was on a first class train to a drawn out painful death. This came from some pretty alarming stats that I found. The American Heart Association said that one out of every six deaths in this country is actually caused by coronary heart disease. They also reported that every year 795,000 people suffer a stroke and may or may not recover from it. Even for many who do recover from a stroke, they wind up with compromised bodily functions. Some of them are unable to talk or even walk around on their own. I even read about a man who, after his stroke, was reduced to crawling around like a baby. I realized that these people were suffering these debilitating heart attacks and strokes because of the way they were eating. And I suddenly realized that's how I was eating. I knew if I stayed on that path of destruction, my health and my life were a ticking time bomb. I also knew that I could make a change and start feeling better, but I wasn't sure how to do it. So now this is where things get interesting. Around the same time, I received an email from my uncle. It